What is good, Marble Squad, and welcome back to our channel. Today we are here with the one and only Mariah's dad, Craig Cobarubius. How you doing, guys? This is the first time I think you're ever. <laughs> you've never been on camera before, this, right? No. So this is the Not first camera guy. I don't even know if people even know what you look like. That's probably a good thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> what are your guys' first impressions? All right. Intimidating? Nope. Stunning? I'm pretty much stunning, yeah. No, he's not 30, but he is available. So, so uh, I'm not gonna be a part of this video today, but so guys get a, you know. Yeah, Mariah's so getting out of here. It's just gonna be me and the dad. So. I don't know if I showed you guys yet, but I'm really blonde now. Oh my gosh, my first time you guys seeing it. Why are you gonna take over the show? We're asking questions today. We're getting well, down to the, the business spot, thing. So rate my hair down below. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't regret doing this. Alright, baby, can you please leave the room? Uh, okay. We gotta get to it. Shut the door behind you. Shut the door? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, no. I don't know what's gonna go down here. Okay. It'll be fine, I hope. Do I get the option of whether I want to answer or not? You don't have to answer, but I think we would like you to answer most right. of these. I will. I'll be a good sport. <laughs> so, I asked you guys that follow me on Instagram to comment some questions I should ask Mariah's dad. And let me just tell you, you did. So, we're gonna start oh. off. And I'm not gonna go in any order. So they could be like crazy, they could be like normal or just like way out there. You just gotta gotta go with it. And if you don't answer, that's okay. But I Sounds highly good. recommend answering. I'll answer. So I'm just gonna start off with an easy one for the first one, okay? If you did not know, Craig is a dad of uh, many, a lot of kids, but Mariah and Meg are identical twins. Which is your favorite? Oh. Out of the two twins. None of my kids are my favorites. Out of the two twins, I'm just saying out of the two twins. Neither. Neither? No. There's no. No. Meg or Mariah? There's no way you're gonna no do that. Like no that. hesitation. No, heck no. I love all my kids equally. Okay. All my kids equally. Okay. okay. That's what every parent should, and every, okay. most parents do, I think. Well, my favorite is Mariah. All right. so. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what was the first impression of me when I, when I came into Mariah's life five years ago and you saw that, you know, this stunning dude from Mariano's was gonna date your daughter? Oh, wow, that's going back a ways, huh? Yeah, five years. Five years. Yeah. A little more than five years now. Yeah. You were a young kid. You were young back then. You changed a lot since then. Wait, wait, wait. So I thought I, you were a nice kid. I thought you were a nice kid. So that means I changed no, for I the never, better or for the worse? You evenly gotten better as I got to know you, of course. <laughs> okay. you know? So I was just like, you know, whatever. Let's see what happens to yeah. this kid. No, I wasn't, I wasn't upset that she came home and introduced me <laughs> to you. I yeah. wasn't like, oh, God, look at this guy. What a clown. <laughs> no, he's no. a good... He's, I knew he was a good kid, and he turned out to be even better. So. Thankfully. Thankfully. <laughs> I wouldn't want to have to do anything bad. No, I think I would... Wait, what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, has there ever been a time in your life where you did not like me? You? Yes. <sighs> Let me think about it. <laughs> Why do you gotta think about it? No. 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 I haven't had any problems with you. No, like you, you weren't like, oh my god, like this dude. I no. just wanna Even like, when you were living with me with COVID, no, I never <laughs> eating all my food and okay, well. making a mess in the house and not cleaning up after yourself. I, I feel like I cleaned more than Mariah did. You did. Okay. You, did. you actually cleaned up more than the girls ever did. Come on. Yeah. Like Mariah and Megan was hard to get them. <laughs> It's all right. It's they all right. they used to do a lot of stuff around the house yeah. until they got jobs, and then they got jobs and said, "Well, we work, so we don't have to do housework anymore." So that actually brings me to my next question. That somebody actually asks, "This is how well they know us." Okay. Why did you never let Mariah do her own laundry? Someone literally asked that. Oh my god. So why? What was the uh, reason? Probably because I'm a little. Uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm anal about stuff, and I know that they would. Either overload the laundry okay. or they would wash something, you know, that wasn't supposed to be supposed to separate your colors and all that kind of stuff. I still don't to this day. Yeah, so. see, that's not good, Bill. That's, that's my fault, but... So it's basically, I just, I don't know, like I said, I'm kind of anal about stuff, so I wanted to make sure that they didn't break my washer and dryer. I'd rather just do it myself. <laughs> I do want you to know, though, Mariah is actually very good at doing laundry. And so is Megan, so it was my own stupidity because I should have had them do my laundry. So She's better than me. She yeah. she has four different loads of yeah. di different colors, whites, yeah. darks, and yeah, like... Except you're supposed to. And like ones that are delicate. Like she has like yeah. it all planned out. See, I don't, I wear a lot of dark clothes, so I'm, it's either dark or white, and I don't. Yeah, you screwed up. She, yeah. They could have been doing it way better I'm for stupid. the past twenty years. That's my mistake. <laughs> and I no, look you're back good. at you're it good. now, and I feel like a fool. So, oh well. 
All right, this is a personal you're question. Living, you learn. This is a personal question. What is your favorite like celebrity crush? Oh, I Cause know I know you're a different generation than me, so like. Wait, I know this one. Oh. Yeah, if you don't say the one that I'm thinking about, I Lady know. Gaga. Yeah. It's yeah. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. I, uh, what? Yeah, she's beautiful. Okay. She's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Um, who else? <laughs> See, I said Selena Gomez, and I got oh, no, no. I said Ariana Grande, and no, I got roasted. Too young. I got roasted. Too for that. Young. Yeah. Lady Gaga's older than. What about Mariah Carey? No, I never heard of Mariah Carey. No. Right? Okay. Yeah. No. I really don't know any other no, celebrities. I, 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 I like Lady Gaga. Okay, Lady Gaga. I'll go with that. <laughs> Have you ever been skydiving? Yes. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. When? In 1991. I was, Jeez. was 22 years old. Yeah. See, that would have been scary because I feel like the gear back then was not like how it is now. You probably just had like a I strap did, I did around. A, I did a tandem with somebody like you guys yeah. did, and we jumped out at 11,000 feet, and I free fell for 55 seconds before I opened my shoe. Did they take you on one of those little like tiny planes? Or did yeah, you it, was a, it was a Cessna. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Somebody actually died the day I was there. What? And you yeah. still wait before or after? Before I went up. You still went up? I still went up. I was only 22, so I was kind of crazy, but we figured the odds of two people dying in the same day <laughs> were pretty slim, so we went. So the dude that skydove with me said it's like riding a bike. Yeah. Which I was just like, okay. Well, the guy that died lied and said he had more jumps by himself than he actually, he never jumped by himself before. Jesus. So he had jumped for the first time, and when he got to a certain point to pull his chutes, he panicked and pulled both of them at the same time. And they got tangled. And they got tangled. And I saw it. I was looking at the sky and everybody was coming down over here with their parachutes up. And here, way over here was some guy falling really fast. And I was like, that didn't look right. And sure enough, the siren started going off and there goes the ambulance. Rest in peace to that man. Yeah. You are a strong man for going up on the air. Because I, I would have left. We I would have taken that as a sign well, and we just said, no, I'm doing on. We thought about not doing it. I would have, I would have not done it. I wouldn't have even thought. I was crazy back then, so. Okay, what is like one of the happiest moments in your life so far? Being like 38 years old. The happiest moments? He's not 38, by the way. 39. 39. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll keep it at that. Oh, got it. Well, I guess I can't ask you if you ever lied before. There's lots of happy moments. All my kids being born. Is that? Are my happiest moments, yeah. That's sweet. My kids, all my kids saved my life, so. They, they calm me down and they awesome. become more responsible. That's awesome. You were actually saying that the other day too. Yeah, yeah. they did. I, actually, my oldest daughter, Ashley, she came along at a perfect time and straightened me out. Ashley is Mariah's older sister. Yeah. Yeah. So. But they, but they have a they big all, family. They've all changed me in good ways. That's awesome. My kids, so, I so my kids. have you ever, have you ever lied to me before? Lying to you? Yeah, because I I, I want to get into the lying because you just said that you were 39. Oh yeah, so, I lied about that. So have you ever lied to me? <laughs> to me, like I like you you saw me and you're like, oh yeah, and you said you said a lie just to get me out the door, or like just to. No. No. Mm -hmm. Like what? I don't know. Is that I, something I mean that I, you're, no, I, I think I lied about? No, I don't. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm no. trying to dig. No, I try to be as honest as possible. Okay. But for the most part, I am. All right, so this one's going to be super awkward. This next no. question super weird. Um, I really don't want to know, but the fans want to know. And I feel like they ask this question in every single video that we do. They know mine. They know Mariah's. You don't have to answer, but what is your body count? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what they want to know. I don't have one. You don't have one? No. But you broke the chart? Just I wouldn't like... say that, but I, I didn't keep track. Okay, <laughs> so you guys could take that into whatever way you yeah. want to take that, but... I never kept track of that. Yeah, I feel like it's hard to keep track after you pass a certain point, right? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's lived a mu like, much more fascinating yeah, I, life I was, than I, I did. I was a wild, crazy guy back then. So, you know. <laughs> grew up at a different time. Or, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no. That's totally opposite of me. Yeah. I'm just like a stay at home kind of guy now. What did you think about me and Mariah when we started doing like social media? Oh, uh, well. Because we were working at the I grocery store was, at the time. Yeah, I thought it was cool. Okay. And I always told Mariah, that's fine, you do your social media, but I want you to, she was gonna be a dental hygienist and I thought that was great. And the only time I was upset about it was when she came and told me she was quitting school to do that full time. And I was like, well, why don't you just stay with school and then you can use your social media for a backup. And she said, nope. 
we're going full force into it. We're going to do it full time. <laughs> she kind of jumped the gun. She did jump the gun. But look where they are. So yeah. I'm very, very proud of them. It all happens for a reason. It does. You know? And if they, you screw up, it is what it is. No, they, they work very hard at what they do. And it's a full time job. And I don't know if people realize that, but that's a lot of work. It, it is. Put in. And it's I stuff. feel like any job is. Yeah, you, know? you guys got to deal with you know people saying rude things to you on mm -hmm. social media. And you guys handle it very well. I'm proud of them. Luckily, we don't have a lot of fans now that, that do that. No, I mean, everybody's nice for the most part, but now, you always yeah. have those jerks in there. That yeah, 100%. Want, they want to, they get jealous, they want to bring you down. Like, I, I can't tell you how many people thought you guys were going to fail and thought that you guys were stupid for doing it, and you guys proved them wrong. Yeah. I, thought, I think that's awesome. 100%. Totally awesome. Well, that's good to hear. No, it's good. good to hear. I'm bored. All right, so I don't want to ask this one. Uh, I, sex question? <laughs> So what's wrong with these people? I'm an old guy. So we're we're taking it up too many notches. Oh no. Um, you know, you got a small kind of a you have a comfortable house that that, that you live in. Yeah. And um, you know, there aren't many walls in the house. Um <laughs> so this question came by a lot of people and I just gotta rip it off like a band-aid. Have you ever experienced hearing certain sounds or uh, noises in the house that were kind of like uh, PG from... From you guys? From, yeah, I got, yeah, from the Mariah's room side of thing. Actually, maybe I'm stupid and maybe I'm just naive or I can't hear very well, but no, I've never... Wait, so why'd you say from us? You've heard it from Megan. Or from... You've heard from Meg? No, I mean, that's, who else would be in there doing stuff? I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, you said not us, so the only other us is like no, Meg. Yeah, Meg, no. I, I Believe me, if I would have found out or I would have heard something or caught somebody doing something, everybody would have known. <laughs> Because I wouldn't have. That's facts. That's facts. Yeah, somebody would be in trouble. Yeah, I do have stories it'd probably be, that I've heard. It would probably be one of you guys, not one of the girls. Yeah. Because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. They'd be in trouble in a different way. Yeah. I got you. Put it that way. That was good. That was good. I like that. that was a good answer. Good answer to an awkward good. question. I'm trying to sound like a jerk. <laughs> okay. Was Mariah a gross kid? Like, did she have like good hygiene, or was she kind of like a gross oh, little boy. awkward kid? I want to hear about Mariah's baby side before before we end this no, video. No, they were they were clean kids, except <laughs> except what they did have a wall in their first bedroom in our house that we lived in Elwood that had a few boogers on it. <laughs> a booger wall? Yeah. Babe, you got a booger wall? Come yeah, on! Yeah. Oh no! But uh, no, they weren't gross. No. So uh, I'm gonna take it up a notch, and it, it could be. I'm sure everybody, everybody's had to pick their nose at one it, time. No, I got everybody's you. Just got boogers in there. Yeah, some people. They still just do decided it. to wipe it on the wall sometimes <laughs> instead of using a Kleenex. <laughs> so throughout their whole life, then this could be when they're a kid to now. What has been for Mariah? Because I want to hear this. What has been the most like irritating thing about Mariah? Irritating. Irritating thing. Like dig deep. Like like you think of this thing that Mariah does, and you're just like. God, that's annoying. I'm trying to expose her now. We got the insider information here. You know everything more than me. What could it be? <laughs> I feel I like got, you say yours and I'll say mine. I think they used, did you guys used to sniffle a lot, Mariah? Mm -hmm. The sniffling. They used to sniffle a lot. Boy, just like, oh, she does that still. Yeah. You still do that. She'll like sniffle for like 20 minutes straight. Yeah. And she'll, they both did it, Mariah and Megan. Mariah and Megan both do a lot of things the same. That's funny. They, they do. do, they I do. Think they have sniffling. tendencies like sniffling that. Sniffling was, and it's usually at night, like if we were in a hotel room or something like that trying to sleep, <laughs> and they're in there over there sniffling. So I'm going back when they were young, young. So that's probably, I, I feel like the most annoying thing that I thought what you were going to say is when you try to go to bed and they keep you up at oh, night. Oh, oh, I forgot about <laughs> when that. When I used to oh sleep at your God. house, I well, remember. They're both. The <laughs> yeah. If they're trying to sleep and you make the slightest noise, they're, be quiet, I'm trying to sleep in here. But to then each they, other. And then you chime to in. To me too. Yeah, to you too. Yeah. yeah. But if, if, if I'm trying to sleep, oh, they can do whatever they want. They can talk on the phone all night, argue with their boyfriends, or 
talk on the phone with your friends and laugh and, and I would be like, you guys, I gotta work tomorrow, can you guys keep it down? And they would just say, oh, I, I can do what I wanna do, I yeah. blah, blah, blah. They stood their ground, they still stand their ground. Oh yeah, they Brian and Meg are definitely, yeah. you know. But it's okay for them to keep me up, but if I was, <laughs> if I make a noise while they're trying to sleep. I feel that, yeah. I feel like we can relate on that, you know. Yeah. I get, I get I it for, I forgot about that one. Yeah, I get that for the rest of my life. That's a big one. Yeah. You don't have to deal with that anymore. Yeah. At least I'm taking some stuff, some yeah, some know. bad stuff off your shoulders. Yeah, could be right. worse though. It I want to. I want to ask one more. Why don't you think of one of yourself and ask me? How about that? End it <clears> off <throat> on the question you want to ask me. Mm. All right. So ever since this is the last question, by the way. Ever since I've known you, you've wore your hat backwards. Now, why? Why? Why is Craig wearing his hat backwards? Is it like a statement? Do you want? to like intimidate people? Are you trying to act cool for the ladies? Or no. is it just like, have you been doing that since you were young? Been doing that since I was young. Yeah. Really? All my life. There's been times where I would wear a hat forward. I don't know, I used to like being, I was a catcher when I played baseball. I didn't so even I know you played baseball. Wore my hat backwards. But no, I just like the way it looks that way. It's more for the ladies now probably. Yeah, I think it's a cool look. <laughs> it's a cool look. I, I think it looks good. Yeah, I grew up in a neighborhood where it was cool to be tough. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I got yeah, you. You had to intimidate a little bit. Yeah. Otherwise you got beat up a little bit. No, you're on that side of Chicago though. Yeah, you know. Okay, I got you. Well, I lived in a great neighborhood, but you still had to. So you gotta watch, you your, had to watch, watch yourself. You still had to watch out for yourself. Yeah, you had to, you had to defend yourself. Did they, did they even have, they didn't have an iPhone back then? No right? phones, no nothing. They had a Blackberry? Nothing. When I was a kid? A landline? Landline, yeah. That was it. That was it. Or like a cup with the strings a phone, attached to it? Not that old. <laughs> a phone with a, with a cord attached to the wall, yeah. and you had to dial the number. Oh, the dialer like, phone, not push the push the phone. Buttons. The first one was a dial, yeah. 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 Now we got these. Yeah, yeah. You guys are spoiled. Right? <laughs> it's nice, though. I mean, to me, in my opinion, though, it, it wrecked the fun of being a kid and being outside. Yeah. Most adults my age will tell you the same thing. It definitely makes life easier, though, for me. It, it, it has its advantages because you can, if you can have a phone, your kids can call you if they get in yeah. trouble, if they're lost, or if they need help, or They, they didn't like even that. have, like, cameras. But like we that, all actually. survived it. All my generation, we survived. We're all here, so yeah. you can manage without it. <laughs> That's true. That's you know, fact. And you missed, you missed out on being outside. And, you know, we'd go outside. It, First thing in the morning, we wouldn't come home till the end of the day. It's not just like this. Is exactly how my dad would be talking. Yeah, right but now. my dad great. would be like, "Technology is stupid and all that." It was yeah. the best time of yeah. life. It was the best time to be a kid. Definitely a better time of a life. Yeah. Now it's just like more easy. It like makes things yeah. easier, but it it takes you away from a lot of things, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was the, some great times. Like your daughter, she's always on her phone instead of paying yeah. attention to me. Yeah. I'm sure you know. Yeah. You know how it is. So. Yeah, I hear you. All the all the kids. <laughs> feel, all you, all you guys are missing out. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being on our YouTube video. This is the first time. Thanks for and having me. Not gonna be the last time they're gonna see him. <laughs> on a video. So just stay tuned guys. I hope you enjoyed. Once again, thank you so much for being on here. Thank you. And uh, comment down below what your favorite answer was to these questions and how you feel about them. Only nice comments because you don't want the smoke. Let's yeah. just say that. <laughs> All right, well we will see you guys in the next video, but until then, peace. peace. Love you guys. <laughs>